Hello everyone, Alex Radu here, and this week on All Hands on Tech, I've got the Dream Maker Overlord 3D printer. Now I want to be clear here before we start, this is both mine and my partner in crime Mark's first experiences 3D printing, so be sure to keep that in mind. To start, let's talk about the printer itself. The Overlord 3D printer, which was released in early 2015 after a successful stint on Kickstarter, comes in a few different models. We have the standard Overlord here, which was provided to us by Dream Maker, but the model available for purchase here in North America is the Overlord Pro. There isn't too much of a difference between the two models. Mainly, the Pro can print slightly bigger objects, and it comes with a heated base, which I'll admit would have been a nice touch for the regular model. Without the heated base, we've been using painter's tape that we replace every few prints, which just kind of takes away from the gorgeous look of the device. As a rookie to the 3D printing game, the ease of use straight out of the box is an important factor in what I'd look for in a 3D printer. The Overlord generally met my expectations in that area. Between myself and Mark, we were able to set it up with fairly little struggle. Saying that the instruction manual provided less help than I would have hoped for might be giving it way too much credit. There is a more in-depth manual provided on the SD card, but the one we were given only contained a manual for the Overlord Pro, which led to more than a little confusion. Using the Overlord is pretty straightforward. After turning on the device for the first time, you just need to insert the filaments you want to at the top, auto-calibrate the device, and you're ready to go. And setting up the print is pretty simple as well. The SD card comes with a 3D splicer program called Kira that is easy to play around with. We would then use a fantastic site called Thingiverse.com to get 3D models and then tinker around a bit with them in Kira if needed. Lastly, you just copy it over to the SD card. Simple. Despite the ease of setup, we've struggled when it comes to the actual printing. When the printer hasn't been used for more than 30 minutes and it has had enough time to cool down, it would take two tries to successfully get a print going. To me, it seems that the time the Overlord thinks it needs to heat up the filaments to get ready for printing isn't enough. Meaning on the first try, it would start printing and nothing would happen for the first minute or two, but if you stop the print and just start it right over, it fixes that issue. For the most part, our prints have gone quite smoothly after that. We only run into issues when printing tiny objects that don't stick to the base for the entire print. That could be fixed with a heated base possibly, but since we don't have that here, we have to stick to some bigger models. Another issue can be seen when printing small and intricate objects. Even by slowing down the printer to 40%, it struggles to match the detail of some of these 3D models. For example, we couldn't print this small Eiffel Tower, but we had no issue with a larger one. Well, despite the fact that someone, our video guy Sam, dropped it. Gorilla Glue is a really wonderful invention. The Overlord has the ability to print objects in different colors by swapping out different filaments during a print, but since we only have orange, I can't comment on that feature. I have to mention the mobility of this 3D printer as well. On top of being a gorgeous device, it is relatively light and easy to move around. Since we don't have a dedicated room in the office for the 3D printer, we've had to move it quite a bit. But since it takes up such little space, that hasn't been an issue. In Canada, the Overlord is available for $1,396 on robotshop.com. You can also purchase it on the American version of Amazon where it's available for $1,000, but that price doesn't account for the shipping and exchange rate. This has been All Hands on Tech with the DreamMaker Overlord 3D printer. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. If not, let us know what we can do better in the comments. And while you're there, tell us what you want us to print. Maybe we'll do it. I've got a bunny cat, some towers, we're gonna print more, might as well. Alright, I'm Alex Radu, thanks for watching.